This is an official live stream of the CNCF and as such is subject to the CNCF code of conduct. Please do not add anything to chat or questions that would be in violation of that code of conduct. Basically, be respectful of all of your fellow participants and presenters. And with that out of the way, my name is Paul Tchaikovsky and I am thrilled to welcome you to the grand final of the CNCF face-off between this SRE Street Band and Team Tinkerbell. Without any further ado, here is our host, the he's both hot and smart, the ever luscious Maddie Stratton. Okay, thanks, Paul. Uh, I also realized I'm not using my good mic, but that's just too bad. Hopefully it sounds fine. I'm not ready, but we're gonna start the game. Sorry, we, can't... we can't hear you. I think you've got a bad mic or something. Can you speak up? I can. Um... I, I, I'm messing with you, it's okay. I know, I know, but I'm going to do it All anyway. Right. Made, but so there we go. Oh, we're back with the... Yeah. Oh, that's so much better. Now he really is luscious. I am luscious. This is the luscious mic versus the just adequate mic before. That said, I can't believe we are here at the end of the road. I feel like there's a boys to men thing we could do here, but we're, we're not because we'll get a copyright strike probably because if I were to sing it, it would sound so much like boys to men that it clearly would be considered a copyright strike. Uh, but this is it. This is the championship. This is the final game of the first season. Maybe the only season. We don't know yet. We haven't gotten renewed yet. We'll find out. But uh, of CNC face-off, if you're tuning in for the first time, well, heck of a way to come in at the end, but it's okay. You can come along. What we've got is we've got two great teams who have battled their way or maybe just sort of walk their way on in. I'm not, not here to, to judge. Uh, to be in our final round, we're going to be uh, getting to meet our teams right now, and we're going to get things started. So our first team here in the championships, fighting to see who will be awarded the coveted CNCF Cup. Can we see the S? There is the artist rendering of the CNCF ASOF Cup and the CNCF certification of your choice. Um, legal makes us say, no, that's not real. But I don't know. Just go find Pop if it's, it's uh, uh, at uh, KubeCon next week. He'll he'll give you a certificate for a free one. That said, here are our teams competing. First off, we have coming back uh, off of a bye week is the SRE Street Band. And starting off, we've got uh, our first player in the SRE Street Band is Alex. Alex, welcome back to CNC Faceoff. Uh, what's your how you feeling about your team's chances today? Feeling pretty good so far. Uh, so far in this entire tournament, we've not given up a single point and we're hoping to extend that streak. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, next player on the SRE Street Band joining along is Ian. Ian, um, you know, I, I know you've got maybe maybe some secret strategy in store. Can you give us a little bit of a hint about uh, what we can look forward to today? You know, we do have a secret strategy, but then if I told you, it wouldn't be a secret strategy. The secret strategy is to keep the strategy secret. Yes. And rounding out the S3 Street Band is Carrie. Carrie, what do you think is the uh, the one thing your team has going for it that will just make uh, your opponents just not even score at all? Uh, well, definitely it's because we were undefeated already. So that's probably making them shake in fear. Intimidation is a legitimate tactic. Well, uh, facing off uh, against the SRE Street Band, coming back from last episode uh, where they uh, narrowly defeated the Rogues Gallery. Uh, leading off Team Tinkerbell is Jeremy. Jeremy, you know, you've heard some tough talk coming from the SRE Street Band. You know, do you think, uh, think their words can meet their boots? Uh, I think it was Colonel Mustard in the data center with the angle grinder. Ooh, we need to figure out how to do a Clue version. I know we talked about Hollywood Squares, but Clue could work. Uh, our next player on Team Tinkerbell is going to be Mark. So, Mark, what uh, what do you think is going to be, you know, you you what 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 set you to victory in the last the last face off? Yeah, Mark, the real deal, Glockenspiel here. I think that um, you know, last time I turned up, first time I was playing. And I just, I just brought the fire and I'm just going to do the same today. I think really the reason why they haven't conceded the point yet is because they've never been against me. So let's see how it works out. 
That's fair. That's fair. And rounding out the team, uh, one of the things about Team Tinkerbell is they mix it up every time. They always have a new player each time. That might be a secret to the success. And uh, in her first time on the faceoff, just coming into the champions, which is how you got to do it, is Shelby. Shelby, uh, are you nervous? Uh, nervous, I'd say no. I'm pretty hyped um, bringing the beginner's luck and some rookie energy here. So hopefully we can... Uh, not hopefully, definitely, we can uh, kick some butt. All right. Okay. With that said, let's get ourselves right into the face off. Uh, our first face off is going to be Alex facing off against Jeremy. So get your hands on your buzzers. Remember, do not buzz in until I complete reading the question. What we've done is we've asked uh, hundreds of cloud native engineers. Uh, a bunch of survey questions and our players have to guess what the most popular answers were and we'll proceed along. It's, it's family feud is what we're doing here. Okay. I mean, for crying out, this is like seven episodes. Y- y'all get it by now. Right. Okay. Uh, producer Paul, let's uh, get that first question on the board. Hands on your buzzers. Let's see what we've got. What do you think most developers spend most of their time doing? All right. First buzz was Alex. Alex, what's, uh, what do you think most developers spend most of their time doing? Uh, copying code snippets out of Stack Overflow. Show me copying code from the internet. Survey says. And it's the number two answer. Fantastic. Okay, Jeremy, you do have a chance to steal. If you can guess the number one answer on the board, your team will take control. Otherwise, the SRE Street Band will run. So what do you think is the number one answer on the board there, Jeremy? I'm going to shoot writing code. Show me writing code. Survey says it's the number one answer, which means Tinkerbell will play. All right. Moving ourselves on over to Mark. So Mark, you got four answers and three strikes. You've got some some space to move here. We asked hundreds of uh, cloud native engineers. What do you think most developers spend most of their time doing? Um, engaging in flame wars on either Twitter or Hacker News. Show me flame wars on social media. Survey says tweeting or shit posting. Excellent. Okay, Shelby, you got three answers to go and uh, three strikes. You're sitting sitting pretty uh, comfortable here. Uh, I'm going to go with waiting for code to compile. Show me my code is compiling. Survey says. No, first strike. Okay. Um, fun fact, the, the audience actually hears the strike, I think. I don't remember, but I know the players don't. Okay, Jeremy, you got, you got three more to go and two strikes. What do most developers uh, spend their time doing? I'm going to go uh, documentation. Show me documentation, writing docs. <laughs> Survey says no. Of course, of course not. Okay, so Mark, the code yeah, is self-documented. This- what they claim they're doing, what they claim they're doing. All right, Mark, you got one shot here to, you know, one strike, but three possible answers. What do you think? Debugging. Show me debugging my code. Survey says no. All right. No. Okay, Alex, your team has a chance to steal. If you can guess, Uh, One of these three answers, you will take all those points. So go ahead, confirm among your team. Let me know when you've got yourself an answer or when I get tired of waiting. All right. uh, I'm like, what do you all think? Chatting on Slack? Either Slack or maybe email. Yeah. Attending meetings. Meetings. Ooh, meetings might be good. Yeah. I feel like meetings could be a number three. I'm feeling good about meetings. I like meetings or Slack. Like y'all like meetings? I'm feeling I'm feeling the meetings. Yeah, me too. Okay, then let's go with that. Okay. Survey says <laughs> meetings is the number three answer on the board, which <laughs> means 45 points go to the SRE Street Band. But let's see what uh, numbers four and five were. What else was still on the board? We had making mistakes, but most of the time making mistakes or yelling at computers. Excellent. Okay. So we've got to start, but 45 points, that's not, you know, that's not insurmountable. There's still three more questions to go. Next face off is going to be Mark versus uh, Ian. Players get to your buzzers and let us see the next question. 
When I deploy infrastructure, I use this. Ian, first buzzed in. What's the what's uh, the number one answer on the board? Uh, Circle CI. Show me Circle CI. Survey <laughs> says no. Okay, which means uh, then Mark, we'll just we go ahead and y- y'all just get to play. Um. So what do you think, Mark? Ash. When I deploy infrastructure, I use this. We asked hundreds of cloud native engineers. Bash. Show me bash or shell. Survey says mm. no. All right, Shelby, you got six possible answers, but uh, but only two strikes. But you, you got you got you got a good shot here. We've already seen it's not bash. It's not uh, Circle CI. What do you think was uh, the the answers that we received for when I deploy infrastructure? I use this. Cloud native engineers, people who are part of the cloud native community, like CNCF, um, maybe Kubernetes. Show me Kubernetes. Survey says mm. no. Okay, Jeremy. <laughs> This is not going to be a high, well, it could be, you could come back. I, I feel like there's a whole category that's being missed. Um, okay, Jeremy, what do you think? We asked all uh, these engineers, what do they use to deploy infrastructure? I'm, f- I'm feeling names and logos. Let's go with, uh, let's go with our friends at Terraform. Show me Terraform. Yes, the number one answer on the board. Okay. You're still holding on here, Tinkerbell, but you, you can't get one wrong. All right, Mark. What do you got? When I deploy infrastructure, I use this. Sorry, me? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, after Terraform, I don't know if we go in that way. I'm going to say Ansible. Show me Ansible. Survey says number four answer on the board. Okay. Now we're moving. Shelby, what do you, what do you got for us? You got only one strike and a couple more answers. Sure. Um, uh, cloud formation. Show me cloud formation or CF templates. Yes, the number three answer. Okay, Jeremy, back to you. You're you got you got your team back in it with Terraform. You got three more to go. What do you got for us? Oh, our other favorite, Pulumi. Let's let's the uh, Pulumi. Show me Pulumi. Mm. Survey says mm. no. What? This is how you know that I did not cheat by putting in the answers. Okay, so Ian, your team has a chance to steal here. If you can name one of the three remaining answers, you will uh, steal these 34 points and put yourself in a really nice position going into the third question. Let's see, what do we got? We got Terraform. Cloud. Oh, yeah. Jenkins. Yeah, maybe Jenkins. Because um, I care for do we want to do something IAC or do you want to get jokey? There's almost always one, right? What about like hopes and dreams or uh... prayers? Right. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's, there's probably at least one more like named I, IAC in there. Well, there's also chef and puppet maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to say any of these. They're all kind of right. It's just what were the salt answers? too. It's a little old, I feel like, but yeah. I'm. I say I'm we stuck go with, on this. I say we go with chef or puppet. They're both so popular in the general DevOpsy community that I think kind of leads into this. Yeah. I Okay, show me chef or puppet. Survey says. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, well, yep. Okay, so that means the points go to Tinkerbell. And let's see what uh, the remaining answers were on the board there, Paul. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Oh. And we also had someone else or another else. team. And finally, <laughs> Yamal. Yamal. Uh, yeah. All right, but this is good. Now I say this: you're saying chef and puppet. This is the year 2021 of our Lord Beyonce. So you know, it's let's let's. I know, but we're old. <laughs> I worked at chef. 
All right. Uh, so we got ourselves a game, though. It's all right. Sorry to SRE Street Band. You know, you have you have been scored upon now, but, you know, it's pretty close. You're going to have to earn this one as we go into our next round, which is Carrie versus Shelby in the faceoff. Contestants, mm-hmm. hands on your buzzers. Are you ready? We good? Ready. Okay. What is your main source for tech news? Okay, Carrie's our first buzz. What do you got? Twitter. Say it again. Twitter. Show me Twitter. Survey says number one answer on the number board. Okay. Five. All right. Moving along. Alex, you're sitting well here. You got five answers. No strikes. Number one source for tech news. Reddit. Show me Reddit. Survey says yes. It's number three answer. Ian. Let's see if we can get your get yourselves uh, sitting real real good here. Coming off of this third question, main source for tech news. We asked hundreds of engineers. Maybe Hacker News. Show me Hacker News or the Orange website. Yes, it's the number two answer, <laughs> which is so depressing. Um, all right, <laughs> Harry. We've kind of got, I think, some of the easy ones out of the way. You know, these are, you know, not not to diminish the hard work that the team has done so far, but I think it's getting a little trickier now. Uh, main source for tech news. Let's say uh, like coworkers or like a Slack channel. Show me my coworkers or internal Slack. Survey says mm. no. Oh, that was a good, good one. Good one there. Okay. Alex, what do we got? Three more to go, two strikes. Um, Twitter, Hacker News, Reddit. Not your coworkers. Slash dot. Show me slash dot since apparently we're talking about a decade. Mm. <laughs> this is the legacy episode. Survey says no. That's a strike. All right, Ian. Got three answers, but only one strike to go. If you don't get this one, then Tinkerbell has a chance to steal. Now, I mean, I do want to follow, you know, I'm thinking about going with like kind of Alex's uh, cue there, maybe saying dig, but I don't know that I want to go there quite yet. Um, but maybe, uh, you know, we, we already said the internal uh, uh, slacks are not okay, but maybe uh, public slack channels or uh, actually, no, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to take that back. Um, um, maybe discord channels. Show me discord or discord channels, public channels. Mm. No. Okay. <sighs> that uh, brings us Shelby. You have a chance to steal. If you, you know, talk amongst your team, if y'all can grab one of these, you will pull those 37, well, more than 37 points um, over to your side, which will set you up nicely for the final question. I'm feeling yeah. email newsletters. I'm thinking exactly newsletters or f- like a feed reader, but just something. Yeah. Probably newsletters. What about LinkedIn though? I mean, I, I, I know I don't enjoy it, but I do read it a lot. As you know, Facebook <laughs> or blog. Uh, I don't enjoy it, but I read it a lot. Could mean so applied to so many things uh, in my life. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm like, do people get tech news from LinkedIn? Do people answering this survey get tech news from LinkedIn? I'm going to say no. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning um, newsletters. Okay. Hey. Sir, show me newsletters. Survey says newsletters that are not, <laughs> not from Corey, from Corey Quinn, <laughs> which so means that uh, 45 points go to Team Tinkerbell. But let's see what the other answers were. Last number uh, next answer on the board was Corey Quinn. Yeah, Corey Quinn. <laughs> and the final answer was podcasts. Podcasts. Podcast. Okay. This is all right. So I think you've got a let me. The, the shot exists. Let's, uh, I think, yeah, we're not, it's not over yet. This brings us to our final face off, our final round, Alex against Jeremy again. And um, let's, uh, fingers, fingers, hands on the buzzers, clickers on the buzzers. Let's see our final question as we see who will win the CNC face off cup. Name something associated with cloud computing. Alex, so fast. Okay, Alex, what do you got? Confusing pricing structures. 
Show me confusing pricing structures. Survey says, Meh. no, okay. Um, so that starts with you, Jeremy. Can you name uh, something associated with cloud computing? Uh, servers. Show me servers. Survey says, Meh. no. Well, okay, so, but wasn't that playing? I thought they get control because, oh, now, now we don't remember what happens. Hmm. I, I think I think it was the team. And it goes back to Alex. I mean, right? I think it was my team. My team gets it. That's the rule. No, since no one got anything, <laughs> yeah, they got it last time, so we get it. This no, time. no, they, they were. Look, I, I, I have the rule. Team. I have the it's rule book in front of me, and okay. the rule is the team that was asked the question originally gets to play if they both fail. Okay, so. That would be the SRE Street Band then. So yeah, it goes back to Alex, right? So it would be Ian because Alex buzzed in. So yes, Ian, Alex, the SRE Street Band has control <laughs> of the board. That's a different game, but they get to play. So Ian, let's go. Something associated with cloud computing. Uh, maybe uh, VMs. Show me virtual machines. Survey says. Mm. No. What this is, is going to be, what? I said there wasn't going to be a controversial one. I feel like maybe this is where we are. Okay, Carrie, name something associated with cloud computing. Your team is going to have to get pretty much all of these, I think, in order to pull this off. So I'm so surprised that the answers that were already given aren't on the board. So I feel like I have to switch gears. Um, can we say AWS? Show me Amazon or AWS. <laughs> Survey says, yes, the number one answer on the board. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, Alex, something associated with cloud computing. So, I mean, I want to do more fun stuff, but if this is the only hit we've had, let's go with GCP. Show me Google Cloud or GCP. Survey says <clears throat> no. Okay, Ian, <laughs> you got to get these out so we can, oh, so we can pull this off. I... Well, I want to I want to keep going with it with the you know the one hit that we got and say maybe Azure. Um, oh, how about CNCF? Show me cloud native or CNCF. Survey says mm. no. Okay, so ah. Jeremy, it's your chance to steal. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure math. This is the hardest matter, one but, ever. You know, I know this makes no sense. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Kubernetes, how do we feel about Kubernetes? I mean, how do we feel about <laughs> Kubernetes as an answer? I was going to say, that seems like a, a pretty I think it's either there. something like Kubernetes, well, but they already got rid of CNCF, so it could be some sort of other like brand name, like EBS or something. So I'm thinking Kubernetes or EBS right now. Was that your answer? Kubernetes. I don't know. Kubernetes. I, I'm the boss. Well, Jer the boss? Okay. Jeremy, it's your call. Kubernetes. All right, show me, show me Kubernetes. Kubernetes. Survey says mm. no. So the thirteen points go to the SRE Street Band. What is this question? I know, well, like this is unfair. I demand another answers. question. I demand another question. <laughs> I don't have any okay, questions. The answers. <laughs> All right, let's see what the answers are on the board. And I, these are from the survey. I'm just going to tell you. And I'm surprised myself that y'all didn't get them. Well, Some thirteen of them was least. the highest one, though. Yeah. It was pretty broad, so we did what we Very could do. Question. This is the percent, shit, right? Okay. S3 sadness. Sadness. <laughs> <laughs> and next answer was security, security. breaches. <laughs> Oof. That wasn't even this week. This was from a while ago. Our next answer was APIs. So people associate APIs. And then the number two answer on the board was Corey Quinn. Corey Quinn. <laughs> I was gonna say that too. No. So, how many? How many of these survey responses came from Corey's IP? <laughs> Corey and Tim have been over there stuffing yes. these ballots. Is, is sadness. Wouldn't those be the same answer? It is a little bit the same. Yeah. The same picture. All right. That does bring us to. Uh, so we award those. Um, the points have been awarded. So and that leaves us with our champions of CNC Faceoff. Our team. Team Tinkerbell, 
Um, next week at KubeCon, we will be presenting uh, Team Tinkerbell and or their rep, uh, duly appointed representative with the CNC Face-Off Cup. I would show it to you now, but according to Amazon, it's supposed to be delivered by 10 p.m. tonight to my house. So I actually can't show it to you. Um, it won't be complete anyway, so it's okay. But um, thank you, everybody, for participating. SRE Street Band, we've got some lovely parting gifts. We've got a lifetime, or a year supply of rice aroni, the San Francisco treat, as well as the CNCF certification of your choice. Just uh, find Pop. He'll hook you up with that. Uh, that's his problem to take care of it. We get to defer all those things. Um, you also have an invite to the next uh, round of uh, whatever CNCF game show nonsense we do. And I uh, think, uh, yeah, thanks to all of you for playing, everybody for watching. Sorry, thanks. Matt, Maddie, this is just coming in. Pop is letting me know that every contestant today also gets a fully expenses paid trip to KubeCon EU next year. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Just, uh, yes. just uh, reach out to Pop and he will take care of that for you. Also, any any uh, finalist uh, when you're in the Chicagoland area can be treated to uh, an evening of tavern pizza uh, at, on, on, you know, hosted by me. We'll, we'll definitely take care of that for you. Um, yeah, Pop is in the chat spamming the word no. <laughs> so we will be hearing from the uh, cncf lawyers i'm sure but until then uh we hope to see uh the people that we do see uh next week at kubecon if we don't we're gonna see you there in person or virtually it's hybrid so um we're gonna do some fun things with cncf uh tv we're gonna have great wrap-ups every week so make sure if you have not already mashed that uh Follow or subscribe button here in Twitch so you'll know when all that great stuff is happening. I know I'll be uh, hosting the Friday night uh, wrap-up show at the end of the week. Um, so that's uh, that should be fun. The rest of them will probably be fine too, I guess. Um, and yeah, so with that, uh, we will see you at the uh, next iteration of game shows uh, here on CNCF TV. Yay!